This diagram shows the frontal and side view of the female reproductive system. The ovaries contain the female gametes, which have two main roles in female reproduction. Firstly, they produce hormones estrogen and progesterone, and they mature the female gametes. Oestrogen is important for the development of secondary sexual characteristics in females, which includes the breast developing, underarm hair growth, pubic hair growth, the hips getting wider, and the ovaries starting to mature and release eggs. Females are born with a fixed number of egg cells, which they start to release from puberty. This is different for men who continuously produce sperm. The oviduct connects the ovaries to the uterus. It is sometimes referred to as the fallopian tube. Every 28 days, approximately, an egg matures and is released from the ovary. The oviduct contains cilia which moves the egg towards the uterus. The uterus, also called the womb, is a muscular bag with a soft lining, which is called the endometrium. The uterus is where baby develops until its birth. The cervix is a ring of muscle at the lower end of the uterus. It keeps the baby in place while the woman is pregnant. The vagina is a muscular tube that leads from the cervix to the outside of the woman's body. During intercourse, the man's penis will enter into the female's vagina. Let's take a look at the female gamete, which is much larger than the male gamete. It contains a haploid nucleus with half the number of chromosomes as a normal cell. The cytoplasm contains nutrients that help the embryo grow. The cell membrane has the ability to change, which is triggered by the binding of a sperm. This prevents more than one sperm from fertilizing the egg. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.